All, all roots and rumors lead to Bunker Hill. You there! Caravan or Raider? What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. That's one way to keep out uninvited guests. Hey. Hmm? Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. Someone sounds a little nervous. <laughs> well, you've got nothing to worry about. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. I'm out here with you. What else could I need? It's time we each went our own way. If you're sure, I guess I'll head home. Just, uh, don't keep me waiting. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the... Uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new... Packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. I can do that. We're supposed to make the delivery at night. So once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets.
Payback time, boogeyman. What the hell was that? Hey there. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. What sort of name is H222? It's my designation. The Institute doesn't bother to name their property. Synths are just numbers and letters to them. I'll fire up the signal. And... there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Hey, H2. From what I've been told, it's probably safer if I don't say anything. I don't want to put you in any more danger. Why not talk to me? I don't really know, but Mr. Stockton told me it's best for everyone. I don't think he was lying to me. I wanted to thank you. This world is overwhelming. But people like you make me feel better about coming here. I have a lot of questions, especially about the Institute. That's precisely what Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't talk about. At all. If I understand more about the Institute, I may be able to help you, and others, better. I'm sorry. I don't know much about the Institute. I worked the maintenance tunnels. Every day, for as long as I can remember. The only time I spoke to anyone was to acknowledge scientists' orders, and very rarely to other synths. I've talked more in the past few days than I have my entire life. But you know where the Institute is, right? Stockton already asked me that. I don't know. I really don't. He says no synths no. How or why that is, I can't say. How did you escape the Institute? The only thing I'll say is I had help. Sorry, it's the one thing I won't talk about. You worked with scientists? Yes, at least that's what we called them. My only interaction with them was to receive orders on what to clean. I would acknowledge my task and occasionally ask for necessary clarification, but that's really it. What's life like for a synth in the Institute? Synths are expected to behave like machines. 
You await instructions. You execute instructions. You perform basic self-maintenance. Anything else is considered defective. And then the SRB comes. You mentioned the SRB. They're the ones that watch us. To make sure we're not defective. To make sure we don't run. Since that get noticed, just disappear. I don't know where they go. What do you know about the rest of the Institute? I heard there was a concourse above the tunnels. It's huge and big and green with, with many synths. But they're watched more carefully by the scientists. Mr. Stockton said very few synths from that section ever escape. Goodbye, H2. Thank you. You have no idea how nice it is just to talk to someone. Easy there. Don't shoot. Whisper, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. You here to pick up a package? Yeah, I'm, I'm here for the package. Speaking of which, hey, you, you okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more of them raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. More raiders. Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. You do anything else there? Most of what we do is look after the new guys. They usually got a million questions, so I try and answer as best I can. We got some of our own questions, too, about the Institute and whatnot. Agents sometimes drop by to lay low if the bad guys are on their tail. Never a dull moment. I'll lead the way. Hey, hi, Rice. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. So, is this a normal operation? More than I'd like. Sometimes I can sneak our friends through all by my lonesome. But other times it's like the damn raiders are holding a convention. 
Working with you made it a whole lot easier. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. There's been panic about the new thing floating in the sky. <laughs> I thought it was one of Tinker Tom's aliens. Aliens are real! Enough! The blimp is called the Pridwind, and it's operated by the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood of Steel are a formidable, highly advanced order. And they've come here to destroy since. Shit! Spread the word. The Brotherhood are our enemies. There's no possibility of peace. Tinker Tom will be spearheading a fail-safe plan to deal with this Brotherhood. Code name Red Glare. But for now, we monitor them and keep them clear of our operations. The focus remains on the Institute. You've all got jobs to do. Do them. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind, uh... Sidekick. Let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Don't they need you here? My job's mainly intel. So, the more places I go, the better I'm doing it. And you are just one big beautiful distraction. Plenty of opportunities to learn secrets moving around in your shadow. Not right now. Well, if you change your mind. When running synths out of the well, wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the Institute. Hey, Carrington. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? Of course, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. The safe houses are in trouble too? I thought only the switchboard was attacked. Ah, the Institute didn't content itself with just destroying our headquarters. No. They launched simultaneous strikes on all we hold dear. Herkimer and Allen safe houses are both confirmed kills. Many fear Augusta will be added to that list. How bad did the Institute hurt us, Doc? Frankly, we're lucky there's a railroad left at all. I don't remember a time our numbers have been so few. But the mission carries on. Tell me about Augusta. Details away to the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. <laughs> 